with us. We'll find a way out. There is no way out. We are talking Escape the Field. This one is directed and co-written by Emerson Moore. It stars Theo Rossi, who you may know from Sons of Anarchy, among others. And let me ask you this question. Do you enjoy the TV show Lost? Yes? No? Perhaps you've never watched it. In that case, let me ask you, did you enjoy playing the original Resident Evil games and specifically like the puzzle element to that? If the answer is yes to either of those, you may want to check out Escape the Field. Uh, and this is quite an intriguing movie, with this is somewhat hard to find. It's vaguely a kind of science fiction, psychological horror movie. And the kind of the simple premise is, the, is going to be this. But I will say, to talk about this movie, um, I am going to have to, I'm not going to try and spoil it specifically. But I'm gonna to have to have some little, some kind of spoilery discussions, and I'll try and keep it as vague as possible to try and illustrate some of my critiques of this movie. But let me tell you the, the plots, not first of all, which isn't a spoiler. Uh, so we have a group of people, all strangers, wake up in the middle of this seemingly endless cornfield, and they don't know how they got there. They have no memory, or they don't know each other. And each one of these people has an item with them that may well be useful. One has some matches, one has a knife, one has a compass, for example. And they, don't, they seem to have been selected for something, but they don't know what. They, have, they don't, haven't got a clue about why, why or the reason they're there or how they got there or anything like that. And they have to kind of try and band together, and if they can, and maybe overcome some of their kind of their differences and try and maybe figure out what they're doing there and who has put them there and what are the reasons for, you know, the, the, they're there in the first place and what is hunting them in the forest or in this kind of foresty of uh, corn stalks, I should say. So that's your kind of your basic plot premise. So let us discuss what I think works in this movie. And again, I'm going to have to talk about some spoilery elements. I'm not going to out and out spoil it, but some of my critiques will require me to at least allude to certain things. So, what do I like? Uh, now this movie I would say has an intriguing hook. You know, we want to know the circumstances of how these people have got there. You know, why? What's the reason for it? Why were these people chosen specifically? Who is behind it? It obviously seems to be quite a big operation. There's a couple of theories that are kind of put out. Um, but you know, it's like, you, you kind of want to know, it's an intriguing, it's, it's an intriguing mystery. And we, as the audience, are along for the ride with our characters. So we find out stuff with them. So you're never one step ahead of the, of the characters. You find out the clues and the answers with them. So if you're looking kind of a good mystery, uh, this movie, I think, will, will, will please you in, in a lot of ways. I think, you know, there's lots of kind of like, uh, fun little kind of traps and clues and you know uh, different kind of puzzles that they have to kind of solve and you might be you might have this sort of person that enjoys kind of trying to solve these around with it with our characters uh, I, I also have to say the characters are very well defined now admittedly they do seem somewhat of stereotypical archetypes but I have to say I think the characters despite that still felt kind of like well realized and I thought the acting from the cast here was also uh, pretty good um, I think so the performances and the way the characters are written I, I have to say made for believable kind of characters and even like it, you know I think it's quite typical in these sort of things where you have like the guy who's clearly going to be a bad guy um, and uh, you know you, you can root against and root for but I think one of the things I liked about this movie is all the characters although some seem a little bit more important than others I mean there are certain characters that seem to get practically no screen time I think well they're clearly going to be cannon fodder uh, but nonetheless they, you you never really feel that there's going to be all the characters feel somewhat nuanced into regards to their trustworthiness if that makes sense and that kind of thing so you think uh, is this going to character going to be a, a help or a hindrance you don't really know um, you never you never feel that one character is 
very obviously kind of a, a bad guy or um, and things like that, which again I thought was quite quite good. And you know, I, I, it kind of um, focuses mainly on this one woman who is our, I suppose, our POV character, who seems to be kind of like a nurse or a doctor or something. Um, but yeah, I, think that I have no kind of problem with the kind of the, 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 the cast. Now, this movie literally all takes place in this cornfield. There's a couple of it internal shots a little bit later, and, and as such, um, it's it kind of gives this kind of somewhat eeriness, but a, a little bit of familiarity as well. I mean, you'll think Children of the Corn. It's not like a supernatural horror like that. Um, although there are some more overt horror elements that will come into the movie. Uh, in the kind of the latter half and uh, you know you, so you do have a little bit of kind of more proper horror shall we say rather than psychological horror as the kind of the film progresses and a little bit more kind of violent and things like this um, but I'm gonna say I was intrigued by the premise it was a, it was a good it was a good kind of like hook that kind of wants you kind of to to uh, to, to explore to the end now I will say transitioning into Wendy what doesn't work when I was watching this movie, I was thinking there doesn't seem to be a hell of a lot of time left in this movie. Uh, is it going to be able to sort of pay off all these questions that it's kind of answering? And without directly trying to spoil anything for you, let me just say I will feel that the majority of people here will be a little frustrated with this movie and its kind of lack of, uh, of resolution. Um... So again, I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens or what doesn't happen, but I will say I think that this this movie, I think has this premise, but doesn't feel like it knows how to pay it all off. Because there's a lot of questions that it asks, and I know that some films and some you know scriptwriters want to leave things somewhat ambiguous, but I feel they go too much in this direction uh, and and really don't answer much of anything. Uh, you know, again, uh, I'm not going to tell exactly what happens at the end, but it, to me, it didn't have enough of an ending, to, to, to be honest with you. Uh, and there's like, there's just not enough answered in this, in this kind of movie. Now, um, so there's that. I, I, I won't say any more than that because I don't want to spell it out for people or kind of uh, tell exactly what happens. But yeah, so I think this movie has a lot of ideas that it kind of has come up with. But then they're thinking, hmm, I don't actually know how to finish this. Kind of like the actual, and I compared this to Lost. And that was what happened with Lost, is the writers didn't know how to end it. And I suspect this is true of this movie as well. Lots of good ideas, but they don't know where to go with them. Uh, the movie's not as clever as it thinks it is. Uh, let me give you an example, and it's practically the first line of dialogue. You know, we have our first two characters that meet each other. And it's Theo Rossi's character uh, and this this doctor, and the doctor has got a you know she her item is a gun with one bullet, and Theo Rossi's character comes in and said, well if I wanted to harm you I wouldn't have given you a gun, and think you know if you think about that someone's given her a gun because she didn't have it beforehand it's you know we it's that it's established. So whoever was behind it has clearly given her a gun, so it may well have been Theo Rossi, but that, you know, it's kind of like, it's a redundant line that doesn't make sense in the kind of this, when, you, when, you, when you sort of think about it. And that's literally the first line of the movie, um, or one of the kind of the first lines of the movie. So it's not really as clever as you, as you kind of, uh, as you think. And a lot of these kind of puzzles, I think rely a lot on circumstance and chance rather than kind of like, you know, being able to kind of deduce what's happened, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, yes, it's a kind of an intriguing kind of story of puzzles and mysteries and things like that, but I, I feel it's somewhat contrived. And the other thing I gotta say is it, it kind of feels like we've seen a lot of these kind of style of films. Like I've said, Loft is, to me, is the nearest comparison, but there are films that have these kind of like, I mean, Saw is another one. Um, it's, it just feels kind of like it's a, a slightly different flavour of a, a kind of a mystery thriller horror kind of movie. Now the, the, the mystery is interesting but I feel, and if we use Thor as a good example, that's a movie that thought about the, the plot whole, the whole way through and I feel gave a satisfying conclusion. So, but this leans on more of the Lost area, the Lost TV show, than Saw. 
So they, that's a good example. Saw versus Lost. You know, mysteries and psychological horrors. The one, the one I felt you had more satisfaction with when you when you finished it. One maybe you didn't. And this leans definitely to the the Lost side of proceedings. But overall, until we get to that point, I still think it's an, an intriguing story with with good characters and good performances. And you know the, the, the kind of the backdrop of these cornfields do look creepy, and we kind of get this kind of like more overt horror elements, and it kind of looks threatening. Uh, and it, but again, it's just it's just ill defined. So I'm gonna have to give this one a five out of ten. I'll be honest, I was kind of leaning to a six, but I just don't think I can really say it's an above average film. So for me, it's kind of it's five, you know. But it's a good five. <laughs> there you go, it's the best I can do. Five out of ten, have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.